As the world marks International Holocaust Remembrance Day, historians are turning to technology to teach young people about the dark chapter of history. And survivors are preserving their memories with the help of virtual reality and artificial intelligence. Ian Lee shows us how. It's a painful path to look back on, even 78 years after Auschwitz Nazi death camp was liberated. Every morning, the prisoners leave the barracks. But this virtual tour gives 96-year-old Menachem Haberman a chance to remember how he survived. His mother and six siblings were murdered in its gas chamber. Yes, Holly. He says, it made me feel very bad. All these memories came back to my head. Surrounded by his family in Israel, Haberman took the virtual tour, a project aimed to educate young people about the horrors of the Holocaust. You need to watch it. And uh, when you watch it, it's, it's like a nightmare that you don't want to be in. Six million Jews, along with at least five million other people, perished at the hands of the Nazi death machine in World War II. I want you to remember the moment. 86-year-old Yehuda Serchuk vividly remembers the day she almost died. A lost sandal stopped her from boarding a ship, which was later bombed by the Nazis. She is in despair, but she is still happy because she is alive. An Israeli charity group is using artificial intelligence to bring stories like Yehudit's to life with software that generates images portraying the emotion and trauma survivors faced. Each one of them have a unique story and they have been through terrifying stuff, but they are still alive today. So far, more than a dozen people have shared their memories, and engineers hope to capture many more for future generations. Ian Lee, CBS News.